This video is about simplifying fractions with letters in them. Firstly, we'll look at the fraction 2 over 4. We know that this is the same as 1 over 2. And in order to get from 2 fourths to a half, we have to divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. Similarly, we know that 12 over 18 is the same as 2 thirds. And here we have to divide the numerator and the denominator by 6. Lastly, we know that 35 over 45 is the same as 5 times 7 divided by 5 times 9. And then we can see that we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 5 and we add up with 7 over 9. We simplified these three fractions by dividing the numerator and the denominator by a certain number. We can do the same when there's letters in the fraction. For example, 2x over 4x, we can write this as 1 times 2x divided by 2 times 2x because 2 times 2x is 4x. And then we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 2x and we end up with a half. The fraction 12xy divided by 18xz we can write as 2y times 6x divided by 3 times z times 6x. We can then divide the numerator and the denominator by 6x and we end up with 2y divided by 3z. Sometimes fractions with letters become a little more complicated. Then you may want to write it down as two fractions. One fraction with only the numbers times a fraction with all the letters. That way it's more easy to see that 35 over 45 is 7 over 9. And ABC divided by BCD has BC in common. And A and D is different. So we can write it as A times BC, D times BC. We can divide the numerator and denominator by BC. We end up with 7 over 9 times A over D. Then we do have to put it back inside one fraction, so we get 7A divided by 9D. Let's look at an example. 14AB over 7B. We note that 14 is 2 times 7, and we multiply that with 8 times B. And here it says 7B, but I can make that 1 times 7B. I can multiply anything with 1 without changing it. Now we can see that we can divide the numerator and the denominator by both 7 and by B. So if we divide them from the fraction, we end up with 2A in the numerator and 1 in the denominator. Well, dividing by 1 doesn't change anything, just like multiplying by 1. So this is 2a. Another example is 154 times pq over 70 pqr. First we note that both 154 and 70 are both even numbers, so are, they are both divisible by 2. Secondly, both the numerator and the denominator are divisible by pq. So dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 2, times pq, we end up with 77 in the numerator and we end up with 35 times r in the denominator. Now this looks like a simplified fraction but now we can notice that both 77 and 35 is divisible by 7 so it's not simplified at all. We could have divided out a factor 7 in this step 
But let's say we didn't notice that then, and we do have this step, then that is not a problem. We can still write down another step and divide both the numerator and the denominator by 7. And then we end up with 11 in the numerator and we end up with 5 times r in the denominator. In summary, if you want to simplify a fraction, any fractions, whether it is with letters or without letters, you will need to identify common factors first, so divide the numerator and denominator by the same factor. Such as here we divided it by 7b, and here we divided by 2pq and then by 7. 